What's up guys man? How's it going? Hope you all are killing it as always in Red Dead Online. And, it's, and in this video we're going to talk about a quick way for you to make some money fast. A lot of new players in the game and they hit me up saying, hey how can I make some money fast? I'm going to talk about that right now in this video so let's get right into it. Alright guys, so there are literally thousands of ways to make money in this game. You can make it fairly quickly. No one way is the the right way. You could do them all. It's all about your preference and, and how you want to play the game. So I'm going to tell you one way. And if there are any other veteran players that has other ways to make money fast, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. But let's get into it. So a way that you can make money fairly quickly in this game is by utilizing the naturalist role. And what you want to do is you want to come over here to Emerald Station. Now the reason you want to come to Emerald Station is because of the farm land animals. Now if you go into your animal field guide, it'll give you all these different habitats. And then you'll get a stamp once you complete a habitat. And once you get a stamp, that stamp will give you $60. Now the reason you want to pick Emerald Station again is because of the farmland stamp. Because of the farmland habitat. In Emerald Station, you have pretty much 90% of the farmland animals in one area so you just go through the habitat as you're sedating the animals and getting the samples and you'll see which ones you still need and you just go out throughout emerald station and you find them all there's one spot that will have uh the additional pigs that you'll need i'll show you uh in this video as well but what you want to do is you want to get five samples of each one of these animals to complete the field guide now like i said all of the farmland animals are pretty much in this area there's a bull right here and then there bulls and cows right here to be able to help you get all of the bulls that you may need and then if you go down to flat next station here there's a pen that will have all of the pigs that you'll need so between flat next station and ammo ranch you have everything you need to be able to complete the field guide now when you come into town you want to focus on pretty much this pen right here these two pens right here this pen right here, let's hop over. There's a bull. And this pen back there, because they'll have the goats that you need. Now, you want to make sure when you're sedating the animals that you're hopping the fence and not going through the gates. Because if you go through the gates, then they'll run out of the gate and you won't be able to get them all. Just hop the fence. You can sedate them all and keep it moving. When you come up this way, there's a house right here and there'll be one random bull that you can shoot and sedate and get a sample. There he is right there. Then this house is the upper location. Sometimes it's a gang hideout, sometimes it's not. Um, but you can always come whether it's a gang hideout or not. And then they'll have cow and bull in this pit. Again, you want to hop the fence and actually want to shoot them from... Right here because this part of the gate is broken and if you uh, go from the other direction they'll all run out this way so you want to start from this way so you keep them all in the pen and you can sedate them all and won't have to worry about chasing any of them outside of the pen okay once you have all five samples of each of the animal farmland animals it shouldn't take you long because they're all in the pretty much same area then you just go to harriet so now when you get to harriet you're going to have all five of each farmland animal and you want to sell them one at a time you just want to sell one now you see it's going to say sell all. Don't hit that because it'll sell all of them and you'll only get one stamp. But when you sell them one at a time, you'll get a stamp per sample. So instead of getting just $60 once, you'll get it five times, which is $300. Plus you'll get the value. So let's just say for sample, it's uh, this bison. I sell one. I'm getting a 360 plus the points going towards completing a farmland stamp. Then when I sell them all and I got that farmland stamp, you go back to your field guide and it'll say stamp completed. And then you hit the stamp and it'll give you the $60 and then it'll clear everything out. And you can go right back into Harriet and do it all over again. You can do that five times. So like I said, you'll get $300 just from getting the $60 of stamps each time. And you're getting the money that you're getting for just the base value of selling that sample to Harriet. So in essence, from one sitting, you could walk away with close to four to $500 just in one sitting from the time that it took you getting all the samples in uh in emerald station then coming to harry and sell it selling it that's why this is one of the quickest ways to make money because you can make about 500 dollars in less than 30 minutes now you do gotta account for having to buy the sedata bullets which is not that much i think it's like eight dollars buying a full box of sedata bullets to be able to use and going back and forth and doing that until you get um 
the pamphlet to be able to make the state to study the bullets yourself, you gotta buy them from Harry. And it's a lot easier from buying it from her than making yourself anyway. So you gotta account for that, but that's you know not that much money for what you'll be taking in. You'll make that back quickly in your first run. And you can do this as, as as much as you want as long as you're not killing anybody so that she doesn't pepper spray you and you get a uh, a timeout, so to speak. <laughs> you can continue to do this and make that money each and every time. And you again, you can still focus on the farmland animals. And what makes this cool is that as you're doing this, if you have not maxed out the natural row, you're going to get an XP for doing for, for for turning the samples every single time. So not only are you making money, you're maxing out the natural roll at the same time. And it's not that time consuming because again, they're all in one pretty much central location, other than having to go uh, down to Flatneck Station to get the um the pigs. But you can max out everything up at Emerald Station and go down to Flatneck, and all you have to get are the pigs. And then once you're done with that, then you come up to Harriet and sell to make that money so that is it for this video man hope it was helpful and if it was do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because i may got into videos all the time about hitting the subscribe button it'll ensure you don't miss the next video so again i hope it was helpful this is like i said this is one quick way that you can make money there's so many ways that you can make money and i continue to make videos on how you guys can make money quickly especially for all the new players and like i said any veteran players that got any tips go ahead and throw them in the comment section below so we can help everybody make that mucho dinero in Red Dead Online. But that's it. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey Outlaws, if you enjoyed that video, then check out this next video. That's more Red Dead Online content.